Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I actually have another vlog and you guys are really enjoying the vlogs which is so helpful because I really love making them and as you're about to find out in this video, there's a lot going on in the house at the moment. So today's video is actually going to be a massive house update. It has taken a little while um, but it's finally done. So behind me here is the lounge. I'm so excited to show you guys this room. Here is the lounge. I'm gonna do a crib style video. So let's have a look, shall we? Hello, come in, welcome to my lounge. <laughs> I thought I would talk you around some of the bits that we've got in here. Everything in here is new, so here we go. So over here, we have a massive corner sofa, which we just absolutely love. This is from DFS. Um, it's a really nice kind of gray color and we've got a little pop of color with some orange cushions like this. Um, this cushion is actually my favorite. This is from Dunelm and it's a circle cushion and I love it. Um, so yeah, we've got a nice bit of pop of color. And then on the wall here, we actually have some prints from Decenio and they're kindly sponsoring this video and they gifted me these prints. Now, in these prints, we've got some of the orange colours, we've got a bit of blue, we've got a bit of yellow with the lemon head, um, and I think they really work with the cushions on the sofa as well. And as soon as we put these up on this wall, it just created like a bit more of a cosy environment. It was a bit plain to begin with. So these have made a massive statement, and even though they're small, because there's three of them, I feel like it really works. It's kind of like a simple gallery wall, which I really like. Decenio have kindly given me a discount code for you guys to use on their website as well for 25% off. Um, the discount code is LAURABRADSHAW25. I'll pop it on the screen right now, but I'll also pop all the information and when it runs out and what you can use it on down below in the description box, and you can kind of copy and paste that as well. So check down there for more information. But yeah, they're kindly sponsoring this video and as I show you around this room, you'll see some more prints that we have from them as well because they are so good. They have all sorts of prints and something for everyone. We have this one here, which is actually from Decenio a few months back as well. This is a Norway print and this is one of my favorite prints ever. I love the colors. It's a really calming print um, and I really like this kind of block of like burgundy here with the blues. It really works well against the wall colour, which is actually blackened by Farrow and Ball. We actually got it made up though in B&Q because it's a lot cheaper than painting with Farrow and Ball. Um, and then over here we have our fireplace. And I'm gonna pop a picture on the screen now of what this was like before. It was just flat against the wall. It was really ugly. It was just stuck on there. So we actually, actually this was Chris's idea. <laughs> we actually had this wall built out with a hole put in and then we've got this kind of gas fire that looks like a log burner in here and we absolutely love it it's so cozy in winter you literally just start it up with a remote control flames come on and then um, yeah it just looks like a real fire so yeah i really like this area and then over to the entertainment system <laughs> cinema room um it's not really um this tv is chris's old tv we don't need to talk about that because tvs are pretty ugly let's face it but this thing that it's standing on, I really, really love. This is from Next, and we picked this up, we searched ages for a corner kind of TV holder, whatever they're called, um, and we couldn't find one. So yeah, so this one's from Next. I like the fact that it's kind of rustic wood, does what it says it does. And then we have Vince's little corner, the best corner of all. Um, so this is where Vince lives. Um, when we're in this room, we'll put Vince in here, and then all the other times she kind of lives upstairs in my office, but she's in here today. Um, she's a bit, bit sad today because she's molting, but this is where she goes. Um, we've got this lamp, which again was Chris's from one of his old houses in the past. Has quite a like, nice vintage feel about it, so I kind of like it in this corner. Um, and then we have another frame by Decenio. This one is actually green and it's got kind of gold foil on it. Loads of different patterns. And then we've actually got a Decenio frame on this as well. It's one of the dark wood frames which I really, really like, and it really works well in this corner. And then we've got this cabinet, which is from HomeSense, and it's massive. Like, there's so much room inside, we haven't even filled it yet. Um, I saw this in HomeSense um, ages ago, and I just couldn't leave it. I love how unique it is. I love the fact that it's kind of like a greeny grey colour with loads of, like, wood patterns, and it's very floral. Just a bit different. I just like the fact that it kind of stood out and I feel like it really works well in this corner. The last few things in this room that kind of add to it are these doors. We had these doors put on 
Um, again, I'll put some pictures of before, what it looked like before. Um, but yeah, I really like the fact that we have these doors because they're glass, so it lets a lot of light in the room. This room is quite a dark room because we obviously overlook the woods, so the trees do make it quite dark in here. So this just helps lighten everything up. And then we also had, behind as well, we also had these doors put in, which were really ugly to begin with. They were like brown wood, they were horrible. So we've had like these sliding doors put in here. Um, again, the same kind of effect with the glass. And then behind there's a dining room, but we don't need to look in there because that needs to be decorated. So yeah, so yeah, this is our living room and that's pretty much everything I think I've covered. I loud, I can finally start filming in here now because I keep hiding it from you guys because I wanted to do this video first. So yeah, really excited and I love chilling in here. It's a really calm room and yeah, we like it, don't we? We like it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So you might notice it's a bit different in the background, a bit echoey in this room. And this is my office. And um, so we finally had it plastered in here. I know I kept mentioning about the Artex to you guys before and how we couldn't do anything in here until it was plastered. And we finally, finally got it done. So the ceiling, it has been plastered, which means it's now this horrible kind of brownie color. And so has this wall because this wall was quite lumpy. And because I film against this wall, um, the lights would always pick up all of the imperfections in the wall. So I thought it'd be really nice just to get that plastered as well. So that's done. I've got everything moved out of here apart from my mirror area because obviously I need to get ready somewhere. So as you can see, this is like where I'm getting ready at the moment. Yeah, it's a bit empty in here, but I will be painting here very soon. So there's no point filling it back up. So the plan for this room, this wall is gonna be white. I think this wall, I might do like a dusky pink. Then here I'm gonna have built in wardrobes. Obviously this area is the window. So yeah, this room hopefully very, very soon should be completely sorted. But the inspiration for this room in particular for me was this print. And this is the print that you guys will have seen in the background of my haul videos when I do my try on. It's just a really pretty color combination. And obviously I have my little green chair here as well, which actually has a little pink blanket on it. So I felt like I mean, these two are basically a match made in heaven, are they not? Look at those colours. So yeah, so that print is basically the inspiration for this whole, whole room. Um, and yeah, I just really like it. It's just a really pretty kind of colour combination. And I, as soon as I put that on the wall, I just knew that that was going to be the kind of colour scheme for this room. Um, so I will be putting that print back up. And I have some other little prints as well that I want to go in here. Outfit wise today, I have this little top which has little faces on it. This is from um, Amazon's own brand called Find. And then over the top, just because it's a bit chilly again, where is the May summer weather gone? Um, I have this little cardigan from Nasty Gal. I really like it, it's really comfy and I love the fact that it's yellow. I don't wear a lot of yellow, so I like it. Um, Bershka jeans, as always, super comfortable. I could literally wear these jeans all, all day around the house, which if you guys know me, you know that I don't really do very often. And then just some socks. And this mirror is disgustingly dusty because the plasterer made it that way. So this is currently my makeshift office because obviously my office upstairs is not in use. Um, we've had, we've. this is kind of like a work in progress this room because eventually we're gonna knock some walls down and make the kitchen a bit bigger. So there's no point really decorating in here. So it's pretty okay. I mean, we've got the bookshelf, we've got the plant. Got my desk and a load of junk over there, which we'll ignore. And just a little reality check. This has all gone back on the side table and this has all gone in the kitchen to free up this space and make it look a little bit cleaner. Because let's face it, no one lives in a show home. Definitely not me anyway. I'm gonna move it all back in now. <laughs> So one thing that baffles me in life is how you fold one of these fitted sheets for the bed when you've washed it. I think my mum did show me like probably a few years ago and um, I thought I had it down but I just can't do it. It's just a mystery. Like once you fold in the corners then I just literally turn it the other way around and try and fold these ones but then you end up with this weird like creasy thing. Like no matter what I do I put it on the bed and it's so creased. Um, yeah, I mean folded it looks okay, but then look at this side. I mean that is going to be a creased 
mother you know what so yeah um don't know how to fold these if you have any videos that show me how to leave them down below or if you don't know and you're happy with a crease bed like me then good for us <laughs> there she is <laughs> So, just in the home base car park because I wanted to go in and get some testers for my office wall. Let's see what they've got. So I've gone for these two shades but we're going to nip to another DIY shop just to see if they've got any other ones as well. I think this one may be a bit too pinky and this one a bit too lilac-y so we'll see but yeah. So now we're at B&Q just to see what they've got paint sample wise. <laughs> I'm just popping the testers on some paper and they look so different on the paper to on the wall. Um, this one is definitely too purpley. I'm not sure, too sure on this one either but obviously they're wet so I'll come back when they're dry. Um, but I'm just waiting for a paintbrush. Chris is just bringing up a paintbrush for this one, which I think might be the one that I prefer. This is from B and Q. Um, but yeah, I'm just not sure. This is definitely too purple, but obviously they're wet. So we'll see what they look like when they dry. Okay, so I know this video wasn't going to be about clothes. It was more a home video, but... <laughs> but I did make a little ASOS order because I needed an outfit to wear for when Chris and I start shooting weddings together because obviously Chris is a wedding photographer. If you didn't already know that, and I go along and shoot with him. So, I'm out of breath because I just ran down to get this camera. I ordered some black jumpsuits from... ASOS so nothing too exciting but I find that when I'm shooting I like to wear black because I kind of blend in a little bit more I actually am really really shocked that any of them fit me because like I would say to you guys long body problems jumpsuits never work however this one I actually really really like this is from a brand called monkey I'm so impressed that it's not like wedgie city so I thought I'd just show you Okay, we've got a elasticated waist here, which is super comfortable, and then it goes down into kind of like a clot style. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can't really see it that well, I don't think, because it's black. It has, pocket, it has pockets as well, which is handy. But yeah, it's just really, really flattering. I just feel like it's quite slimming. It's quite flattering. It's super comfortable. And I'm actually really impressed that I've got like loads of room here at my bum it's not like going up my bum looking really weird so this could be a contender to shoot weddings because i could also wear like a little cardigan if it's cold or a blazer um but i'd also feel quite comfortable with this in summertime because we shot some hot weddings last year and i was boiling but i feel like this is quite cool so yeah i really like this i think with like a little belt or something as well i really like this neckline as well so yeah this is a keeper <laughs> oh god guys now i've got another one that i really like so this one is from asos's own brand and i think this is really cute if you hold your legs together it looks like you're wearing a dress and i love that but i really love this neckline how nice is that i've got an a as well which i think maybe fit a bit better I'll leave the link to this down below because if any of you guys kind of work and you need jumpsuits or just really casual ones as well, like this is a really light material. So I think on holiday this would be really nice. So yeah, I'll leave the link to it below anyway. It's quite a boring purchase, I guess, but I thought some of you guys might be interested and um, things like this, people just don't talk about. It's all like fashion, 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 but actually sometimes you need a black jumpsuit. Hi guys, so it's now the next day day and um yesterday's vlog ended a bit abruptly you know what life is like i was vlogging one minute and then the next minute i was cooking dinner and in my pajamas and um, we actually watched a film last night about the tsunami um called the impossible um which i've actually seen before but chris hadn't so we watched that and it was so sad so i basically ended up crying all night about that film i feel like tonight we're gonna watch a comedy so i thought i would carry on vlogging a little bit today um obviously i mean it's half three so there's not going to be too much but i just wanted to finish off this vlog i'm actually just about to log on to decenio 
just because I wanted to just have a look. They basically, if you've never used Desenio, where have you been? Um, but they basically upload so many new prints all the time. It's basically like the ASOS of the print world, is that if you go on the new in section, there's pretty much always something new on there. Um, so yeah, so I'm just on the new in section here. I really like this one. This is kind of like the pink and green theme as well. And even though it's um, a photo, I really like this. It kind of reminds me of one of my favorite photographers called Miles Aldridge. Um, that's a very him kind of inspired print, which I really like. Um, these actually are all really cool. Like this boot has got paint on it and stuff like that. And then again, they've got the more subtle ones. They've just got basically loads. This is actually really nice as well. I think Chris would like this one. The good thing about Desenio as well is that there's always something for everyone. Like I'm pretty sure so everyone will like a print on here. They also have like the quotes as well, which can be nice. And these are ripped. But that was basically my t-shirt that I wore yesterday. <laughs> Actually, I think that's the same print. Um, so yeah, I really like these kind of line drawings as well. They're really kind of subtle and just add something to the room. You are going to order from Desenio. Do remember to use a discount code. It's Laura Bradshaw 25, 25% off. You can use it on anything on the website except frames and hand-picked personalized items. I'll leave all the details down below anyway. You've only got a few days to use it. It actually runs out on Thursday the 16th. So anyway, let's go upstairs and see how those paint swatches have dried up. Fingers crossed there's a shade there that I like because I can see this being a struggle. I'm very picky about my pinks. <laughs> so these are the shades on the wall. They've come out really different to the paper, but I guess because the background is white, maybe they look a bit more pinky. But against the cream, they definitely look more pur purpley. This middle one is probably my favourite. I feel like this one's a bit too dark. Um, this one's a little bit too lilac. And this one maybe is just a bit too dull. So... Yeah, so let's give this one a go. This to me looks like the middle one, but we'll see. I've just opened it up actually. Oh, actually that's quite nice. It's quite in like a baby pink. So let's put this on the wall and see what it looks like. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Don't do them too big, you're woolly. So this is the Farrow and Ball um, Cinder Rose, I think it's called. Yeah, Cinder Rose um, next to the other ones. This actually might be my favourite. It's looking a bit lilac-y on the screen here. Um, but yeah, it is quite cute. I quite like it. It's very similar to this one, but maybe a little bit lighter. Um, but it's definitely less lilac than this shade. And again, this one's just out. I think this one's too dark. We'll see, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> As you can see, had a quick change of outfit and makeup. I actually haven't changed my makeup. I've just added a red lip. And whenever I add a red lip to any makeup look, I kind of think, why didn't I wear that red lip all day? Because actually, it makes you look like you've got loads more makeup on and you don't need to do anything else. So yeah, little tip there. If you're going to from work to party, just add a red lip and you're basically ready. Um, I don't think I could wear a red lip all day long though. I think it's too messy and too annoying. But this one's pretty good. This is a Chanel one that I've had for years and years. It was a gift from an old boss in one job and I've literally had it so long. It's probably out of date but I can't part with it and I don't want to rebuy it because let's face it, I don't want to take out a loan for a lipstick. But I thought I'd finish this vlog now. Me and Chris have just taken some Instagram photos for my little collab with Desenio. Like I mentioned, this video was kindly sponsored by them, but they are a brand that I really, really love. And you guys know I would never advertise or work with a brand that I didn't use in my personal life. So just a little disclaimer there because I know bloggers can sometimes get a bad rep when they do ads and things like that, but yeah. Authentic over here. Come on. On there. Oh my goodness. So this is where I'm going to end this vlog. I really hope you guys have enjoyed a bit of a house update from me. I know it's not really something that I've been focusing on on my channel, but that's just because, to be honest, we haven't done too much. But now... Fingers crossed we should be doing upstairs, which is super exciting because that's where, to be honest, I spend most of my time. Yeah, so let me know if you do want to see more little home updates. And if you do, I will gladly, gladly film my little office renovation for you as well. But yeah, I'm sure I will be vlogging again very soon and I'll update you on what kind of pink I used in my office if I even go for pink. I wish I could see in the future and know what I'm going to do but goodness only knows. So thanks for watching guys. If you're not already, please do hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time for another video. Have a lovely day and see you soon. Bye. <laughs>